Okay, um, I'm Dave, AI7R, and I've been looking for years for a way to run my station remotely um, uh, because I have a cabin that's about 80 miles from here. And the problem was the network up there wouldn't allow me to set ports. So, uh, and all, everything I'd seen dealt with ports. Now, I'm a network guy, so I understand the whole, whole reasoning for it all. But uh, Marcus, who runs uh, uh, RemoteTX.net, um, he's got a little server running, which uh, organizes all of this and makes it so you don't require any ports. So I can be, you know, off with my phone somewhere or, or somebody else's house or whatever. I don't have to have ports open on, on any kind of router or anything. It's as simple as bringing up the web and uh, uh, bringing up the program. And it's very complete. It works with uh, most Elecraft gear and 7300s. Well, the whole 7000 line of uh, ICOMs, and he's expanding it all the time. But uh, it's really awesome. Very, very reliable. Love it. Okay, so um, there's things that I wanted to do to be able to do that. Um, you know, I don't want to just use a mouse and push buttons. You know, and and push up and down to tune the frequency and that kind of thing. It's uh, it's kind of a pain to do that. You can see it's it's there. Um, you can run a lot of different functions. It all changes, of course, based on what radio you've got. So, um, so I wanted to be able to do more than this. Uh, you know, it's just on the on the screen kind of thing. You can. I can use my phone, and I can do just anything. I can even run CW from there if I want. But I wanted to use a panel. Okay, so there's a way to do that, and uh, I have it set up to do that. This right here is a little Arduino, really simple, um, programs available, a uh, little amplifier. Each of these things is just a few bucks, uh, including the, the, the uh, decoder there and the pot um, and uh, a speaker. The reason for this is it, it's basically a keyer. It's, it's the, um, uh, the standard uh, keyer that's going around that everybody uses. Uh, I can put a link to it um, in the uh, comments. And, but it's been customized just a little bit. This is a special Arduino. Um, there's like a couple dozen different kinds for different reasons. This one right here is useful because the USB port that's used to program it, which is plugged in over here, um, it also outputs. So you can, through the software, you can output to that USB port. And the, the software is set up, uh, the key or software actually came with this, the ability to um, make it that so it can output whatever you send as a character out the USB port. Now think about it, and it does it like a keyboard. So basically, I could be on a uh, notepad here, send a character, and it's going to type it. Basically, type it. Done. Um, if if I if I was uh, uh, absolutely useless at a keyboard, but I was you know 45 words per minute with this. I could type emails and things to people using this circuit. So it's kind of cool. Little side thing. Um, uh, to, to make this whole thing even cooler as far as remote operation, um, that same Arduino can be used uh, to do a push to talk. Okay, and there's special software for that. So you plug that into the USB and all of a sudden you push that red button and um, it, uh, it transmits. So if I've got a microphone, uh, I mean, I could I could hook another thing up. This so pushing the button on the microphone uh, is the same as that red button. So that would be very cool um, and fairly easy to do. And this right here is a knob that you can buy. And they're about thirty to forty dollars. Uh, it, it it taps and turns, so you can tap it. You can tap and hold. Uh, it lets you change things about uh, like what frequency you're on. Um, you tap it and it changes uh, which one of these columns you are in. So you can go a megahertz at a time or, or uh, 10 kilohertz or 10 hertz at a time. Um, so, you know, that's cool. So now I can tune the radio. I can use push to talk and I can run my, my CW with a, with a key. Um, uh, there isn't much else to it. You know, the only, the only thing um, that's running that makes this work really on the other end is on my Elecraft K3S that I have it on. And I've run it on the 7300 too, and it works great. Um, uh, there's a Raspberry Pi. And that Raspberry Pi has a program that uh, 
that Marcus has written, which basically I am looking at a website, a web server that um, is interfaced to that Pi. Uh, when I log in with my call sign, um, it, uh, it comes up and says, well, there you go, there's your radio. You can turn it on and off from here. Um, uh, it it uh, goes through the audio. Of course, you can select whether you want to use a USB microphone or one that's built into the into the uh, uh, computer. Uh, usually, it's not nearly as good. So, um, so there you have it. It's actually pretty simple. I'm going to be designing a board. Um, there's a little amplifier there and there a greeno there. I'm going to be designing a board since you can get them for about a buck a piece. Um, uh, when you design them uh, that so all of this mess is just a little board that does it all and um, uh, the, the board will have other capability because this keyer is a full keyer you can do some pretty amazing stuff with it um, I think you can even put a readout on it I, I don't remember if there's enough memory in here to do all of those routines I'll have to play I'll at least do one that does this so it's a keyer. It will key a rig locally, or you can do it through the USB port. So, um, uh, so at least you know, at least it can be used a couple of different ways. You could basically have it plugged into your rig and plugged into your computer, and you could use your remote or your local using the same keyer. So that would be awesome. So anyway, um, let me demonstrate it here a little bit. Um, I'm listening. Uh, I've got the radio set at 7115. Uh, 80 miles away. This right here that we've been listening to or hearing the, the noise from is the SDR, um, uh, KFS SDR in Half Moon Bay uh, near San Francisco. And it is set at, um, let's see, I seem to have missed what frequency it's on. Uh, it's here somewhere. Probably scrolled up or scrolled down away from it. There we go. <clears throat> so it's listening to the same spot. Okay. Um, let me, uh, let me tune it down here a little bit. I want it to be right on. Okay. Oop. There we go. So it's in the same frequency as this. So let me go over here. Uh, I'm going to put my, uh, I'm going to select the text box. I clear it. Okay. Select the text box and I'm going to send some code and you're going to, the code you're going to hear is the louder code will be the monitor, um, the uh, softer code will be the receiver that you hear in Half Moon Bay, um, actually hearing my transmission. So there you have it. I can actually <laughs> transmit using a paddle from 80 miles away and have it heard in San Francisco. So that is that is optimum right there. I never thought I'd be able to have a remote that used the paddle. Okay, so if any of you have any questions, um, you can email me. I'll leave all the information in the comments. And uh, um, by the way, I don't work for uh, uh, for Marcus or get my uh, account for free. It's like seventy dollars a year, so it's not not bad at all um, uh, to be able to run remote. And um, it's a really good guy. Uh, and uh, I'm just excited about all of this. He's kind of worked with me a little bit um, to, uh, to get everything going. Uh, so anyhow, leave, uh, uh, leave comments or email me and I'll answer them as best I can. Thanks.